They got it. Back. Out of the way! I can't see. There are cars there, mother. Welcome back to the channel. Prepare yourself to discover the truth about the stars you admire. When you watch your favorite movies or TV shows, you often feel like you know those famous people well. You read interviews in magazines, watch them on TV, and think they're so sweet and kind. In some cases, that is true, but not always. Here is a list of stars who are actually not as likable as you think. Hey, I, have, I have a question for you. Shut up, you ugly! Oh, uh, no, no, I'm Gwyneth Paltrow once held the title of Hollywood sweetheart, adored for her sweet and innocent demeanor. However, she revealed her true colors after announcing an extreme diet eliminating coffee, alcohol, dairy, eggs, sugar, corn, shellfish, fish, wheat, meat, and soy. Her declaration as a lifestyle expert left many people questioning her sanity. Gwyneth's eccentric health advice and strict diet puzzled many. What was once seen as quirky now seemed disconnected from reality. A friend even remarked that she is a rich white woman with an eating disorder who turned it into a branding opportunity. If a friend says that, imagine what her enemies would say. Her transformation from America's darling to a polarizing figure showcases a complex journey. Gwyneth's brand, Goop, thrives on unconventional wellness trends, sparking debate. While some admire her boldness, others see her as out of touch and elitist. Despite mixed reactions, Gwyneth remains unapologetic, ensuring she stays relevant in the ever-changing landscape of celebrity culture. Charlie Sheen once conquered the audience as the alcoholic and funny Charlie Harper in Two and a Half Men, becoming the highest paid actor on television. However, his erratic behavior in real life caused him to fall disastrously from grace. After publicly insulting the show's producer, Chuck Lore, and bizarrely claiming that he had tiger blood running through his veins, Sheen was fired from the show. Known for his destructive behavior, drug addiction, and habit of bad-mouthing other celebrities and exes, Sheen's downward spiral was hard and fast. His public meltdowns and reckless antics shocked fans and colleagues alike. Despite his past success, Sheen has struggled to regain his fame for years, having his once glorious career overshadowed by controversy and turmoil. The actor's failure was a spectacle that played out in the public eye, tarnishing his once shining reputation. Charlie Sheen's journey from top TV star to cautionary tale of excess and self-destruction is a stark reminder of how quickly fame can fade. Despite comeback attempts and moments of sobriety, he has yet to fully reclaim his place in Hollywood, making his story one of the most infamous in celebrity history. Reese Witherspoon is often seen as the epitome of sweetness and charm. However, some people who know her describe her as very self-entitled. This side of Reese came to light when she and her husband were pulled over for erratic driving. When the police officer approached the car, she asked, do you know who I am? And warned him he was about to find out. Reese was then arrested for disorderly conduct. This incident shattered the perfect image many had of her. It's tough to reconcile this behavior with the beloved actress we see on screen. Fans hope this was just a one-time lapse in judgment. Reese's moment of imperfection reminds us that even the most adored celebrities have their off days. Hopefully, this incident was just a blip on the radar for the actress known for her charm and talent. Reality star Jesse James has a notorious reputation when it comes to women, but people tolerated it until 2010. That year, it was revealed he had cheated on America's sweetheart, Sandra Bullock, while they were in the process of adopting a child together. One of his affairs was with Kat Von D, and the two eventually got engaged. However, Kat called off the engagement after discovering Jesse had also cheated on her. While Kat's involvement in Jesse's infidelity brought her criticism, especially for contributing to Sandra's heartbreak, Sandra emerged stronger. She ended up adopting an adorable son on her own and moved forward with grace and resilience. Jesse James' scandalous behavior highlighted his flawed character, 
But Sandra's strength and independence in the aftermath won her even more admiration from fans. Lucille Ball is often celebrated for her sweetness, humor, and charm on screen, portraying fun and down-to-earth characters that endeared her to audiences worldwide. However, behind the scenes, her demeanor wasn't always as endearing. There are accounts of her being less than pleasant, particularly towards those she deemed beneath her celebrity status. One notorious incident occurred aboard an airplane where Lucille reportedly refused to speak directly to a flight attendant, instead having her assistant convey that she doesn't speak to the help. Such behavior, though not widely publicized at the time, tarnished her reputation among those who witnessed or heard about such incidents. Additionally, her personal life was not without controversy. Lucille Ball reportedly discouraged a relationship between her son and Patty Duke, an act that left both teenagers heartbroken. This decision, viewed by many as overbearing and unfair, added to the complexities of her public persona versus her private actions. Edward Norton has carved out a versatile career, portraying both admirable characters and complex antiheroes with equal skill. His ability to embody contrasting roles on screen often leaves audiences questioning the type of person he might be off camera. Unfortunately, rumors and reports have painted a less than flattering picture of Norton's demeanor and professionalism. One significant controversy arose when Marvel Studios decided not to bring him back as the Hulk in T-H-E-A-E-E-N-G-R-S. Speculations circulated that this decision stemmed from Norton's alleged difficult attitude making him undesirable to collaborate with. Moreover, Norton faced criticism for his handling of the screenplay for the film Frida. He claimed credit for the screenplay, which led to disputes and denials within the Writers Guild, disregarding the contributions of others involved in the writing process. These incidents have overshadowed Norton's undeniable talent and good looks, revealing a darker side that disappoints fans who admire his work. Despite his on-screen achievements, his off-screen reputation raises questions about the true nature of this talented actor. Patrick Dempsey, known for his role as Derek Shepard, aka Dr. McDreamy, on Grey's Anatomy, portrayed a character beloved for his skill as a doctor despite occasional flaws. However, off-screen, Dempsey's reputation differs significantly from his on-screen persona. Reports suggest Dempsey struggled with diva-like behavior on set, earning a reputation for being difficult to work with and reportedly rude to his co-stars. This behavior reportedly became so problematic that he was ultimately written off the show. When showrunner Shonda Rhimes addressed his departure, she made it clear that she had a zero-tolerance policy indicating that Dempsey's conduct behind the scenes did not align with the character he portrayed. This revelation challenges the perception of Dempsey as the charming McDreamy, highlighting a disconnect between his on-screen persona and his off-screen behavior. Despite his portrayal of a beloved character, Dempsey's real-life actions have cast a shadow over his reputation in the industry. Julia Roberts has charmed audiences with her portrayals of lovable characters on screen, but her off-screen reputation paints a different picture. Reports suggest that her behavior on the set of the Peter Pan film Hooks was tumultuous enough that Steven Spielberg, the acclaimed director, reportedly vowed never to work with her again. Crew members supposedly nicknamed her Tinker Hell, hinting at the challenges they faced working with her. Even more personal accounts, such as those from her own sister, underscore the complexity of Robert's persona. Her sister has lamented that Robert's inflated ego and the pressures of fame have strained their once close relationship. While Robert's continues to captivate audiences with her talent, these glimpses into her off-screen life reveal a more nuanced and sometimes contentious side to the actress behind the beloved characters she portrays.
Tommy Lee Jones is renowned for his portrayal of grumpy characters on screen, but it turns out that his real-life persona aligns closely with this reputation. Behind the scenes, Jones is notoriously aloof and often avoids interactions with fans and reporters alike. His reluctance to sign autographs or engage in interviews has led many journalists to steer clear of seeking a second interview with him, as he has a reputation for abruptly ending conversations or walking out. One infamous incident on the set of Batman Forever further highlighted his no-nonsense attitude. Jones reportedly told Jim Carrey, in no uncertain terms, I hate you. I cannot sanction your buffoonery. While Carrey is celebrated for his comedic talents, Jones's candid critique of Carrey's over-the-top style perhaps underscores his preference for a more serious approach to acting. Jones's unapologetic demeanor both on and off-screen adds an intriguing layer to his public persona, showcasing a man who values authenticity and seriousness in his craft, even if it means ruffling a few feathers along the way. Jennifer Lawrence may be one of the biggest actresses in Hollywood today, but her fame hasn't shielded her from criticism about her behavior off-screen. Reports have surfaced multiple times suggesting that she can be unkind to her fans, a fact she herself has acknowledged. Lawrence has even defended her behavior by claiming it's a form of self-defense, though many find her approach unnecessarily harsh. While it's understandable for anyone to want personal space or downtime, there's a fine line between setting boundaries and coming across as self-absorbed or entitled. Success hasn't necessarily improved Lawrence's public image, instead, it's raised questions about her character and how she handles her fame. Despite her undeniable talent on screen, these incidents have shaped a narrative that challenges the perception of Lawrence as a relatable and likable celebrity. Her journey through fame serves as a reminder that celebrity status doesn't exempt anyone from scrutiny about their conduct and treatment of others. Spike Lee is renowned for his immense talent as an actor, director, and writer, but his reputation off-camera tells a more complex story. Reports suggest that Lee's behavior extends beyond his artistic prowess, with accounts detailing instances where he's been less than cordial to both fans and fellow celebrities. During a public lecture at a university, Lee reportedly became visibly irritated when two fans asked questions, abruptly cutting the session short by 40 minutes. This incident is just one of several stories circulating about Lee's temperament and interactions with others in public settings. While Lee's creative achievements are undeniable, his reputation for brusque behavior challenges the idealized image often associated with celebrated figures in the entertainment industry. It serves as a reminder that talent and success do not necessarily correlate with graciousness or approachability in personal interactions. William Shatner is best known for his iconic role as Captain Kirk on Star Trek, a character so deeply intertwined with his persona that even his cast and crew affectionately referred to him as Captain Kirk. However, beyond the glamour of his on-screen persona, Shatner's off-screen reputation has been marked by controversy and criticism. One notable incident that sparked public scrutiny was his absence at Leonard Nimoy's funeral which disappointed and angered many, considering their long-standing friendship and professional collaboration. This absence fueled discussions about Shatner's priorities and relationships within the industry. When Comedy Central announced a roast for William Shatner, celebrities eagerly lined up to participate, seizing the opportunity to candidly express their opinions about him. The roast became a platform where Shatner faced a barrage of unflattering commentary revealing a side of him that contrasted sharply with the heroic image of Captain Kirk. While Shatner's legacy as an actor and cultural icon remains intact, these glimpses into his personal life serve as a reminder that public figures are often more complex than the characters they portray, with flaws and controversies that can sometimes overshadow their accomplishment.
Kiefer Sutherland's portrayal of Jack Bower on 24 earned him acclaim, but his personal life has been marred by controversy and public incidents that paint a different picture. Reports of Dewey and drunken behavior have contributed to a perception of him as a troubled figure off-screen. His reputation as difficult to work with was highlighted by fellow actor Freddie Prinze Jr., who openly criticized Sutherland's professionalism during their time on 24. Prince Jr., known for his amiable demeanor, described his experience working with Sutherland as negative, shedding light on the challenges of collaborating with him. While Sutherland's acting talents are undeniable, these insights into his personal and professional life underscore the complexities of fame and the realities behind the polished facade of Hollywood. His journey serves as a cautionary tale about the impact of personal behavior on public perception, even for those who have achieved significant success in their careers. Tom Cruise is undeniably a striking figure known for his age-defying looks and impressive acting skills, not to mention his daring stunts. However, beyond these attributes, his personal life has drawn considerable criticism and controversy. During his marriage to Katie Holmes, Cruise's behavior reportedly included imposing stringent rules on her, such as restrictions on her friendships, travel, and communication with his ex-wife, Nicole Kidman, his affiliation with Scientology also became a contentious issue, with Cruz reportedly exhibiting fervent devotion to the religion and expressing strong opinions about it, which some viewed as overbearing. Holmes eventually ended the marriage and distanced herself and their daughter from Scientology, a decision that has resulted in limited contact between Cruz and them. This aspect of Cruz's personal life has fueled perceptions of him as controlling and uncompromising. Despite his professional achievements, Cruz's personal controversies have overshadowed his career, prompting discussions about the complexities of fame and the impact of personal beliefs on relationships. His story serves as a reminder that even celebrated figures are not immune to scrutiny for their actions and choices. Chevy Chase, beloved for his role as Clark W. Griswold in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, unfortunately carries a reputation for being quite the opposite of his endearing on-screen characters. Reports abound of Chase being difficult to work with, earning him a notorious reputation among his Saturday Night Live co-stars who reportedly despised him. Beyond his professional demeanor, Chase has been criticized for making inappropriate remarks towards female colleagues which has tainted the way some view his comedic legacy. Learning about these aspects of his behavior may tarnish the nostalgia associated with his iconic roles. While Chevy Chase's comedic talent is undeniable, his off-screen controversies serve as a reminder that the personas actors portray on screen can be starkly different from their real-life personalities. This contrast underscores the complexities of separating an artist's work from their personal conduct. Ellen DeGeneres is widely adored for her charm and humor on her talk show, but behind the scenes, reports suggest a different narrative. There have been allegations that she treats her writing staff poorly, particularly when she disapproves of their jokes. This behavior is surprising considering her background in stand-up comedy, where she initially honed her comedic skills. Criticism of Ellen's demeanor extends beyond her treatment of staff. Comedian Kathy Griffin has publicly commented on Ellen's reputed mean streak, indicating that this perception is well known within Hollywood circles. While Ellen continues to entertain audiences with her on-screen persona, these revelations challenge the idealized image of her as a universally beloved figure. They serve as a reminder that public figures, despite their public personas, may have complexities and controversies that influence their interactions behind closed doors.
Milton Berle was notorious in the entertainment industry for his unapologetic habit of stealing jokes, earning him the unflattering nickname the Thief of Bad Gags. His reputation for joke pilfering even prompted RuPaul to publicly confront him at the 1993 MTV Video Music Awards, where their on-camera and off-camera interactions were visibly strained. What was meant to be a passing of the torch moment turned awkward when RuPaul had libbed criticism of Burl's comedic style, revealing tensions between the two. Burl's contentious behavior extended beyond joke theft. During his guest hosting stint on NBC's Saturday Night Live in 1979, he clashed with the show's producers and cast members by attempting to dominate rehearsals and upstage his peers. His actions were so disruptive that producer Lorne Michaels reportedly tried to prevent the episode from being rerun, though copies eventually resurfaced in 2003. Despite his controversial legacy, Burl's impact on comedy and television remains undeniable showcasing the complexities of talent and ego in the entertainment industry. His career serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of creative plagiarism and unchecked ambition in show business. Charlie Chaplin, despite his silent films, was not silent in his assessment of the filmmaking team. He is known for his strict meticulousness and can fire crew members quickly if they do not meet his standards. In terms of personal life, Chaplin's life is no less remarkable than any of his films. He was married four times, often to women much younger than himself. His first wife was only 17 years old on the wedding day. His second wife was even only 16 years old. At the age of 54, Chaplin married Una O'Neill, daughter of famous playwright Eugene O'Neill, when Una was only 18 years old. Although this marriage caused strife in the family when Eugene O'Neill rejected his daughter, they lived happily until Chaplin's death. However, Chaplin's private life was considered controversial and criticized because he was said to have abused his wives and often had illicit relationships. Charlie Chaplin's life both on and off the screen, is a fascinating story of talent, ambition, and personal turmoil. His legacy as an innovator in the film industry lives on, while the tangles and controversies of his personal life are a wake-up call about the complexities of fame and human relationships. Errol Flynn, the charismatic swashbuckler of Hollywood's golden age, remains a figure shrouded in controversy and intrigue. Charles Hyam's 1980 biography, Errol Flynn, The Untold Story, initially stirred shock with allegations of Flynn's involvement in same-sex affairs and accusations of Nazi sympathies. However, these claims were later debunked as lacking substantial evidence in subsequent biographies. Flynn's life was further marred by legal troubles, notably his involvement in three separate statutory rape trials in 1942. Despite being acquitted each time, the trials irreparably damaged his reputation. The phrase in Like Flynn originated from this tumultuous period, though its casual usage today often overlooks its troubling origins. As Flynn aged, his lifestyle choices and tumultuous personal life took a toll on his once dashing appearance. In his later career, he often portrayed aging alcoholics, reflecting the stark contrast from his earlier heroic roles. Tragically, Flynn passed away from a heart attack in 1959 at just 50 years old. The medical examiner's assessment of his physical condition, comparable to that of an 85-year-old, underscored the toll that his turbulent life had taken on his health. Gary Crosby's 1983 tell-all biography, Going My Own Way, painted a revealing portrait of his famous father, Bing Crosby. According to Gary, discipline in the Crosby household often included stern lectures and the use of studded leather belts as punishment. Even when Gary's brothers misbehaved, he sometimes had to endure discipline along with them. 
Reports also show housekeepers using extreme measures such as drowning treatments in the bathtub to quiet children if they are caught talking in bed or waking up too early. Despite their professional collaboration in Seven Road Films, Bing Crosby and co-star Bob Hope's relationship reportedly remained strained off-screen. In private, Bob Hope confessed to a friend that he did not particularly like Bing and sometimes expressed a strong dislike for Bing. Tragically, two of Bing Crosby's children struggled with depression and died, casting a shadow over the Crosby family's public image of success and harmony. Gene Kelly, renowned for his dancing prowess and charisma on screen, found himself embroiled in controversies that painted a darker image of the Hollywood icon. Rumors swirled about his rough treatment of co-stars, with anecdotes suggesting that dancers like Caris sometimes returned home from MGM bruised, leading to speculation about Kelly's involvement. In a more serious allegation, Kelly was accused of involvement with the Provisional Irish Republican Army IRA, in 1970. Reports claimed he met secretly with IRA leader Cathal Goulding during a covert fundraising mission in the USA where he allegedly donated a substantial sum intended for purchasing firearms. Kelly reportedly told Goulding, this money is for guns, implying a direct support for militant activities. However, these allegations surfaced posthumously and have been vehemently disputed by Kelly's widow, Patricia Ward Kelly. She maintains that while Gene Kelly was proud of his Irish heritage, he was not wealthy and was not inclined towards violence. Instead, she portrays him as a man who cherished his roots but was committed to peace and nonviolence. John Wayne a Hollywood legend known for his iconic Western roles, was also a controversial figure due to his outspoken ultra-conservative views. Throughout his career, Wayne's political stance evolved from early affiliations with socialism and liberalism to staunch conservatism. He famously supported Barry Goldwater in the 1964 presidential election, partly due to Goldwater's opposition to the Civil Rights Act. In a widely criticized interview with Playboy in May 1971, Wayne made divisive remarks asserting his belief in white supremacy and expressing reservations about African Americans holding political office until they met certain educational standards. His public denouncement of homosexuality and critical comments about films like Suddenly Last Summer and Midnight Cowboy added to his contentious reputation. Today, Wayne's legacy is debated, with some film students boycotting screenings of his movies and calls from Democratic leaders to remove his name from Orange County Airport. His complex persona continues to spark discussions about the intersection of politics, Hollywood, and cultural values in American society. Betta Davis, the legendary screen goddess, was known for her fierce personality and memorable moments both on and off screen. Producer William Fry recounted a dinner with Davis and director Herschel Dougherty, where Dougherty accidentally bumped her finger into Davis's face. In response, Davis unleashed a fiery verbal tirade that cleared out half the restaurant. Unfazed, she returned to her meal as if nothing had happened. On film sets, Davis was known for her intense commitment often refreshing her iconic eyes between scenes. During the filming of Mr. Skeffington, an incident occurred where someone tampered with her eye wash in her dressing room, although the culprit was never identified. Director Vincent Sherman even joked with detectives, suggesting that if they lined up the cast and crew, a hundred people would humorously confess to wanting to harm Davis. Joan Crawford was a force to be reckoned with, often likened to pushing her way to the front like Lady Liberty herself. Her infamous feud with Betty Davis during the making of Whatever Happened to Baby Jane was so legendary that it became the subject of the 2017 miniseries feud. Davis tried relentlessly to oust Crawford from the film but failed, leading to a chaotic aftermath when Davis received an Oscar nomination and Crawford did not. 
The 1978 Tell All Mommy Dearest, authored by Christina Crawford, exposed a harrowing account of abuse allegedly endured by Crawford's children. While some of her other children denied mistreatment and defended her, Joan's struggles with alcoholism, jealousy, and obsessive cleanliness were well known in Hollywood circles. Crawford's personal life was as sensational as her career. Rumors of a one-night stand with Marilyn Monroe and her involvement as the other woman in multiple divorces added to her enigmatic persona. Adopting children for publicity and illegally arranging adoptions behind closed doors were also part of her controversial legacy. Mickey Rooney, Hollywood legend, has a turbulent personal life with eight marriages and countless love affairs. In his autobiography, Life is Too Short, Rooney revealed a series of scandalous stories. MGM head Louis B. Mayer reprimanded him in 1938 for an affair with Norma Shearer, which disrupted production of Marie Antoinette. Rooney also recounts his first visit to a brothel with Milton Berle and witnessing Tallulah Bankhead's lesbian encounter. He caused controversy when he outed Judy Garland for a brief affair with a woman and described Ava Gardner's private parts in detail. In Craig Bennett's 2019 book True Confessions of a Shameless Gossip, Rooney is portrayed as rude and rude, with shocking allegations, including an affair with Elizabeth Taylor on the set of National Velvet, while he is 24 years old. Bennett also accused Rooney of misleading young actresses with fake auditions. While many of Rooney's claims have been deemed exaggerated or false, his legacy remains a mixture of Hollywood glamour and notorious controversy. Thank you for watching my video. There are many other interesting things in the next videos. Please look forward to it. Thank you and goodbye.